a very warm and hearty welcome to all my beautiful lovelies today i'm giving you an exciting happy grateful welcome thank you so much for clicking on my channel for giving me lots of support and encouragement i am the empress of miracles who provides you lots and lots of clarity accuracy and of course insight so today is going to be a tarot and oracle a collective reading for the collective Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You will know exactly if it's for you, okay? So today's reading is we are going to be doing your pregnancy or conception confirmation. This is to basically, for the collective, confirm whether you are pregnant, whether you are close to conception, and any other spirit baby messages that want to, of course, come out. All right? So I'm very excited to share these beautiful messages with you. And I hope and pray you enjoy it as much as I do. Remember that whatever signs and synchronicities you are seeing and hearing in this reading, you will know it's for you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, I'd like to note that I have a lot of beautiful specials um, in the description box for massively discounted prices. You're going to see what the price was and what it actually is now. All right. A lot of discount you get. And a lot of rituals for those of you that want to book a ritual only. It's there as well. Also, please note that I am also going to be running a Black Friday special. Soon, it's going to be announced. I'm very excited as well. So let's go ahead and see what the Spirit Babies have to say. Spirit Babies, please speak to us. And let us know the confirmation that mommy or daddy, whoever's listening, even an aunt's, or an uncle, whoever's listening, what's the confirmation for pregnancy and conception? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what messages are here for you today. All right, let's go ahead and see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I have the five of swords and the eight, uh, the eight of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse. I don't usually take reverse cards, but today I feel called to doing exactly that. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say, my darlings. Okay. So earth energy, air energy, lots of air signs, lots of earth signs. I'm picking up on Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So far we have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups, Water Signs. This could be your Sun, Moon, or Rising, your partner's Sun, Moon, or Rising as well. Let's go ahead and see what we have. The Star card, wow, Aquarius, very big energy of Aquarius here. It doesn't have to be your sign. It's not an Aquarius reading, but that's the energy that's here. You will resonate as your sun, moon, or rising, or your partner's sun, moon, or rising. You could have been seeing 888-555-1010, or 111-777 as a sign and synchronicity as well. You could have been seeing stars, singing bowls, hawks, mandala patterns, pentacles, blackbirds as a sign and synchronicity, or lots of birds that surround your home. Okay? <clears throat> let's go ahead and see let us see more let us see more let's see what the universe has in store for you yes for the babies we have the king of pentacles very wealthy person you could be in a relationship uh, with someone that is older than you what i'm seeing so far let me start reading we have the queen of swords as well so let's start reading and if i need to clarify i'm going to clarify the eight of swords in the upright represents you so basically just so everyone understands it's eight of swords five of pentacles knight of pentacles ten of swords queen of cups star card king of pentacles and queen of swords here so here while i shuffle to see for clarification in fact let me use another deck to clarify okay so what i am seeing here is that you have in the past been 
very much trapped in your head a lot about conception about pregnancy you don't know when's the right time you cannot tell whether there is something to worry about or there isn't something to worry about you are quite concerned about the future you don't know what to do you don't know what type of actions to take you don't know where to go from here that's what i'm sensing how you used to feel about conception and pregnancy i do feel like some of you's finances were um in a difficult space because of trying to conceive maybe doctor's appointments uh fertility treatments i'm hearing someone was searching so much on social media to see how it worked for other women and you trying it yourself i'm hearing someone here try to take or eat pineapple, pomegranate, cranberry, CoQ10, um, okra water. Okay. Now remember something. Not everybody's body is the same. Um, here with the Five of Pentacles, you have exhausted finances because of trying to find answers. The best way to find out what's the best or specific situation for you is via your spirit babies. They know and have all the answers for you. So be open to receiving the answers from them or let them tell you the answers of how they're coming through. All right. The Knight of Pentacles is that sometimes you feel like with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, I'm only sensing with these two cards. There were times where it was on and off for you and your partner. Very, very, very exhausting. Either one of you, because a male and female, wanted to give up at some point and walk away from the situation because it held too much of information too much of stress, too much of worry, too much of finances. It affected your relationship as well. As well, The Knight of Pentacles is at times you saw slow progress. Not the progress you want, but slow progress. Maybe you've been to a fertility doctor, a fertility treatment doctor, and you were making progress, but not as much. You Like you wasn't getting the news you wanted, okay? I'm talking about where you was. The Ten of Swords is you feeling defeated and unaware. Then there's some advice here moving forth which is the queen of cups and the star card which will ask you to work with your emotions to balance your emotions to progress forward to bring bring clarity to your emotions share your emotions in an abundant way and allow your emotions to be fueled with abundant energy cups energy and the queen of cups she's very in alignment she's very much in alignment with who she is how she feels she's not afraid to say how she feels and she's not afraid to do what it is that needs to be done to get what she wants in this life the queen of swords speaks of someone that is confident so you're stepping into you've stepped out of this energy of feeling conflict worry and stress finally you are stepping into a timeline and you are right now in a space of confidence bravery and you're ready to handle this your partner may or may not have gotten a promotion or may very well be getting one and you as well in the near future will, which will allow you the confidence and increase the positive vibes to allow you all to be more hopeful positive and create the best possible outcomes so i'm just going to be pulling cards wherever it needs to be okay that card popped right out and uh, i don't know why but i just felt called to so i'm going to pull more cards from this next deck to give us more clarity okay and I do see here that you could be someone that likes to wear or work with crystals. I do see that there is an energy of, I'm just putting the cards wherever I feel because that's how the babies are guiding me to do so. Okay. I do see here that you can expect positive news. You could be someone that is wishing on a star. Uh, doing a lot of manifestations, making the best possible moves abundantly to create the life that you want, to create joyous memories for you and your family, and happy news, all right? So I just put the cards where exactly the spirit baby wanted me to put them. So I'm also picking up on a lot of signs here. Some of the signs and synchronicities you will know this reading is for you, is if you're born on the 8th, 18th 5th 15th 10th 20th empress wow this is your confirmation reading remember and here with the empress a lot of you are already pregnant or very soon will be all right you can expect a positive pregnancy test within the next three 
six or nine weeks from now three six or nine days from now all right um as someone could be born on the 17th um the seventh the third the ninth as well you could be or your partner could be a sagittarius a taurus a libra a virgo a water sign fire sign so cancer pisces uh scorpio leo aries sagittarius uh capricorn i'm picking up on gemini as well aquarius cancer as well so here with this spread we have the eight of wands we have the seven of pentacles we have the king of cups king of cups empress eight of pentacles hierophant nine of pentacles and the queen of wands so this speaks of an absolute blessing these children were wanting to come in for a very long time and they are happy to be here is what i'm hearing when i hear that i'm hearing that with the eight of wands here they have been in the line to conception for quite a while because this is the card that is a fast-paced card when we're looking at how fast you're going to conceive if it's very fast you're going to get the car you're going to get the chariot or the eight of wands this also speaks about positive movement forward uh growth things going your way and sowing seeds of success i do see there has been a lot of work and effort a period of reflection towards these kids we have the seven eight and nine of pentacles so there is massive progression here massive uh, money massive wealth coming your way the seeds that you've sown to be able to provide for your family is going to be abundantly met i do see a very very abundant female here uh, a very uh, beautiful business businesses or whatever you do for work and money is coming your way you are going to be going through a period of reflection or have gone through that and now you feel as if you've grown there is growth there is abundance there is treasure here for you to be able to receive the king of cups is your partner is now seeing you in this energy of being a very loving partner someone that is mature stable emotionally stable abundant in showing your emotion and has connected with you in a divine way the empress definitely confirms this is the biggie of the whole reading the most abundant card in this entire reading which is the empress okay which is the beautiful beautiful empress confirming that all of you that are watching and have found a lot of signs and synchronicity in this reading is currently pregnant or very soon will be i've given you the time frame where you are about nurturing yourself you are focusing on fertility you're focusing on your body feeling abundant and having a bountiful amount of abundance all right i do see abundance coming your way wishes being fulfilled you stepping into your divine feminine working hard towards your children working hard towards your relationship focusing on what is most important to you and your family okay that is most abundant and your children are so proud of you for doing exactly that all right uh the hierophant speaks about for those of you that want a higher level of commitment from your partner that is marriage okay that is marriage that is commitment that is abundant energy surrounding fertility and money happening for you okay and you need to be aware that the hierophant speaks about spirituality values and marriage as well so it's important that these children that you know that they are very much into spirituality and an abundant lifestyle so they know that you are someone that is very abundant as well you have the full capability of receiving this abundance for those of you that wanted that yes no confirmation whether you are currently pregnant or if pregnancy is near yes of course it is because you've worked hard towards it focus on your inner being your independence your investments your abundance your happiness your gratefulness self-confidence personality and staying true to yourself as a sign and synchronicity you may see 888 the infinity symbol 777 333 555 999 as a sign and synchronicity you may also see bread or wheat as a sign and synchronicity uh you may see or visit a spiritual place of worship do meditation yoga you may see yellow birds or colorful birds grapes or crave a lot of fruit uh you may vi visit a vineyard or winery sunflowers and black cats are a big thing or some sort of piece of furniture you may be buying 
in the near future or have bought as well all right so that's what's happening for you in the near future it's important that you pay attention to that and know what's coming your way what is abundant for you right now so you are able to absorb what is there for you and recognize that this reading is for you all right I like that this confirmation is here because it came with the beautiful confirmation of the Empress and so much of abundance, so much of surety, so much of a beautiful partner, very supportive family working with you to create the life that they you want to have with your partner, right? Not only that, you are receiving abundance, you're receiving your yes, you're receiving good news, all right? So it's absolutely beautiful to see that all of this goodness is happening for you. Now let's go into some oracle cards. We have the first card that is representative of the word flexible. So the card of being a flexible. Within this egg, the, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a face. Okay, I'm trying to, there's a face in this egg. So as you can see, you are like basically sitting on your conception. Your conception is right there. You can accept and receive conception very, very fast because it's right there. But it's important that you stay flexible to the journey. You remember that this journey will serve you well provided that you take a quiet action at the right time, of course. Remain flexible to all the challenges and, and, and changes that will occur through this conception, all right, to be aware for it. The next card we have is creativity. So the 12th and the 19th may be important as a date for a birth date or anniversary, as well as your date of birth. Creativity, seven sisters. So you could be in a family of seven sisters. You may have a lot of sisters. You may have a community or work for a go and fund me or something that you work with a lot of other peers. You are an, are someone that loves to stay in your authenticity. You love color. You dress colorfully. And you are a very creative being. Those are some of the traits that your spirit baby have chosen you for because you don't, you're not afraid to stand out. You're confident in yourself, you're confident in who you are, and you're ready to bring in all the goodness that you have to offer for them, all right? The next card we have is energy healing, number 21. So the 21st is important. You could also see mirroring numbers because here we have 12 and 21 mirroring numbers, right? So be in the energy of receiving healing energy, be in the energy of receiving good health, be in the energy of holistic well-being thriving and being extremely vibrant in who you are stand true to who you are stand true to you true to yourself be abundant with yourself be joyful with yourself and be open to receiving good news then we have divine mission enlightened action make choices from the heart so now is the time that you connect with your ancestors connect with spirituality connect with your spirit babies give, get, let them give you the answers let them give you the surety and know that their mission on this earth plane is going to be a divine mission. The way they take enlightened action and show you the way to help you to make choices that serve your heart in the best ways possible. The next card we have is well-being. So you focus on grounding, you focus on shadow work, you will focus on transforming your life in a positive way. And it will occur in the best way possible for you. Be abundant with yourself, be joyful with yourself. And that's the only time you are able to be receptive to the abundance that's there for you, okay? Doing grounding exercises, being outdoors, is going to show the signs and synchronicities you should need to see, like uh, maize, um, butterflies, fireflies, moon, the grass, uh, being outdoors, greenery, so on and so forth, all right? Focus on you right now because you're going to need that. And friendship, a very close a uh, knit family you may come from or a very strong support system you will have that will fuel your heart with a lot of joy a lot of supportive people that are going to be there for you and your kids which is a beautiful thing to hear i'm very very excited and extremely happy for each and every one of you that are receiving the support during this time and you can see a mother figure or a guardian angel a spirit guide is watching over you during this whole process giving you the love the guidance, the guidance, the uh, the protection, the abundant energy that you are looking for during this time, and confirming that you are ready for these beautiful babies. So don't feel shy if you connected to this reading. I really hope it found you in the right time and confirmed for you the beautiful, beautiful Empress over there that you are very much currently pregnant or very soon will be and know that your spirit babies want to connect with you make good use 
of the specials that I do have in the description box for private paid services. My email address is there. I will be happy to assist you timelessly. So don't forget to, if you can, like, share and subscribe. And of course, comment in the comment section what you loved and resonated with. Congratulations in advance. Okay, my darling. I'm going to see you in my next amazing reading. Lots of love and light, baby does as usual. Take care. God bless. And of course, bye-bye.